What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. CDs this time. And I'm going to be doing a label showcase video for you guys. I'm going to be talking to you about some of the latest releases to come from probably one of my favorite newer metal labels to come out of the Extreme Metal Underground. I of course am referring to Cruciator Productions. Uh, yeah, it's a label run by the guitarist of the band, uh, Auto Crater, uh, Loik. Um, of course, as of recently, his, his band has been, he's been self-releasing his band's material through Crusader Production in the form of CDs. Um, but his label has also been putting out some recent heavy hitters lately, like the brand new Drawn and Quartered album, The One Who Lurks. But there's also been a handful of other material that the label has been putting out that's been nothing short of awesome. Whether it ranges from newer bands or to reissuing older bands material. Um, this, is, this is some really, really killer stuff and that's what we're going to be focusing on here today. But first what we are listening to in the background. The Black Sorcery and the Beast Spake Death from Above. Absolutely killer black death metal from Canada. This features Matt Sakaitis from the projectionist on vocals. Think if Archgoat had Disgorge style vocals. That's what you get with the Black Sorcery. This is incredibly impressive, and it all goes without saying that um, Cruciator did a tape version of this of this particular EP release, and this is the CD version through Hammer of Damnation. If you haven't heard the Black Sorcery yet, you need to get up on listening to this shit. This is absolutely incredible black death metal from this year. Alright. First stack of CDs all have something in common, and since I mentioned Drawn and Quartered earlier with their new full-length album, uh, Cruciator had put out a bunch of stuff from this band's wide and varied discography, including something a little unrelated, se something semi-related to the band, but something completely different. But let's talk about Drawn and Quartered first. Of course, you, if, if you already saw my review of them, I've already d discussed them. Uh, very awesome. Uh, Death Metal from the Pacific Northwest. They put out a new album this year, but um, we got some old school stuff from them first. Let's talk about this one. Uh, yeah, this is To Kill Is Human. Yeah, this is a 2018 re reissue through Crusader Productions, and this is their debut full-length album from 1999. Uh, this was originally released on Moribund Records, and this is the debut album that helped pave the way for what Drawn and Quartered would soon put out in their later years. This is some absolutely incredible, raw, nasty sounding death metal. Very much something that still holds up very well all this time later. And there's just really a lot to enjoy about this debut full length album. When you hear songs like Ministry of Torture, The Hills Run Red, the title track, Broken on the Wheel, you just get a lot of great, great stuff to come from this debut full-length album. And of course, this band would only put out better, stronger material from there. But this debut album serves as a nice little standpoint as to what what kind of great things would come from Drawn and Quartered in their career. But yeah, as you can see, this is the very uh, this is the original album cover art. Very, very nicely done here. Track listing. Yeah, the little jewel case here. You got the CD there. You have the booklet with a thanks list, lyrics and credits. As you can see, this is a more bun licensed reissue. Very cool that they reissued this CD. Very, very good stuff. Yeah, drawn and quartered with To Kill Is Human. We've got some more drawn and quartered stuff here, and this is what represents some of their later stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the Proliferation of Disease demo. Uh, this was released in 2016, and this demo was a showcase of what Drawn and Quartered were working on all this time later. And of course, this band is still as deadly and as lethal as ever. This demo is absolutely awesome to listen to. Uh, Iron Wills and Iron Fists, Goat Storm, uh, Act Age of Ignorance, just some seriously killer songs here on this demo. And like I said, the Drawn and Quartered then, to Drawn and Quartered now, 
is absolutely sick as fuck. I love what drawn and quarters are sounding like now. They're even more deadlier and insane than ever. And this demo showcases what uh, drawn and quarter are all about. So yeah, love this artwork here. You have the track listing, pro CD here. You have the band members. Love this artwork. Nice little layout with lyrics and stuff. Very, very cool. But yeah, if you haven't heard the proliferation of disease demo, definitely get up on listening to this one, in addition to listening to their new full-length album from this year, The One Who Lurks. Really, really killer stuff. And the last bit of Drawn and Quartered related stuff is um, a little side project that this band did back way... I want to say this project kind of predated Drawn and Quartered, but this project is something very cool in its own right. Yeah, this is Plague Bearer with Winds of Pestilence. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a demo compilation showcasing two distinctive demos from this band's body of existence. Um, Winds of Pestilence and Defiled by Sodomy. The latter of which happened in 2001 and the Winds of Pestilence demo was in 2008. Yeah. Something very different, but something very, very good from this band. It features a couple of the members of uh, Drawn and Quartered. But this, but this compilation is really, really cool. Showing you what type of a different project this was uh, back when Plague Bearer was putting out releases. I know that, um, I think on one of the Drawn and Quartered demos recently that uh, some Plague Bearer stuff got added to it, but still... Really, really killer stuff. Songs like In Satan's Name, Legions of Corruption and Sodomy, to tracks like Under One Sign, Incinerate the Flesh of Christ. You can tell that this band has some unique linkings and ties to, to Drawn and Quartered, but still, the Playbearer material on its own is really, really killer. I really enjoy this a lot, but yeah. Really killer artwork on here. You have the track listing. Uh, more, uh, more badass artwork on here. You have the CD right in the middle. Got some credits, some additional lyrics. Very good job here with these booklets and layouts. So you have an idea of what uh, what you're going to be in for with this uh, Plague, uh, Plague Bearer release. But yeah, Winds of Pestilence is really, really good. And I definitely would recommend anybody checking out the pre... The pre... Uh, the stuff that's going on when Drawn and Quarter isn't going on. But yeah, Plague Bearer, Winds of Pestilence, check this one out. Next up, we head down to Chile for a 2018 release from a very, very good death metal debut here. Yeah, this is Pulverized with Monuments of Misanthropy. Yeah. This is their debut full-length album from 2018, and like I said, these guys are based out of Chile, and they play this really, really primitive, nasty ugly sounding style of death metal that just really really gets the job done here it's only six tracks long but you can already tell and appreciate what a band like pulverized is all about they bring the pain with this style of death metal that they play here and it's really really good stuff uh consumed by ignorance uh anquilacion genetica those, are, those just happen to be some of my favorite tracks off of this full-length album, and I really love what they go for here with this record. When it comes to the way things sound, the vocals, the guitar riffs, the drum work, the bass tones, it's all here on this album, and it all sounds fantastic to listen to. Very, very impressive debut album, and yeah, really like this album cover art a lot here. Really good stuff here. Got a little booklet here with lyrics and stuff, and credits. Very, very impressive death metal from this year, and I'm very curious to see what happens with Pulverize next. I know there's more than one band called Pulverize, but as far as Pulverize from Chile is concerned, this band is very, very sick. So yeah, Pulverize with Monuments of Misanthropy, very, very good debut stuff. <clears throat> Moving now to another compilation. Uh, this one is a band based out of Canada, and this is some very, very sick black metal stuff. Yeah, this is Profane Order with Titan Noose of Sanctimony. Yeah, this is a compilation release of this band's debut full-length album from 2016, Marked by Malice, and their EP from this year, uh, probably titled Titan Noose of Sanctimony. 
But yeah, these guys are based out of Canada, and they play this really, really awesome style of, of black metal. A lot of heavy riffs, a lot of awesome vocals, just a lot of really dark, twisted sort of stuff being done here with these songs. It goes without saying, a couple of the guys that are in this band are also in another really, really good band that seems to get a lot of attention, uh, Spectral Wound. Uh, that's a very good band too, but Profane Order is something very, very special as well. I mean, listening to songs like Six Seed Eradication, Traitor's Perdition, to songs like Misanthropic Sect and Natural Order, you can already tell what a band like uh, uh, Profane Order are bringing to the table with their style of music, and I would really love to hear and see more from this project in the future. But yeah, love this artwork here, very, very badass, uh, Profane Order of the track listing and credits and information lyrics pro CD and everything very very good quality with this uh, compilation here but yeah I want to hear more stuff from Profane Order these guys are really really sick and these last two CDs are some very very big reissues here when I found out that Cruciator was going to be putting out these particular records I was extremely excited especially for this one this is definitely one of the more important albums when it comes to death metal from the United States this is in Fester with to the depths in degradation yeah yeah I don't know what else I can say that hasn't already been said about this album in the past, but, um, man. Fucking amazing album. I want to say this came out in 1994? 1993, 1994, I could be wrong, but please correct me. But yeah, this is their debut full-length album, and of course, this is a two-CD compilation. This includes their debut full-length album in their original unaltered audio, and it also comes with some demo and promo tracks, preferably their, um... Darkness Unveiled 7-inch in 1992 demo. But yeah, Infester, absolutely pioneering and legendary band. I know a lot of my friends who enjoy death metal love this particular album here. And listening to all these songs all these years later sound really, really killer. Um, the title track, Braided Into Palsy, uh, uh, Viscid Slippery Secretion, uh, Excoriation Kills the Bliss absolutely amazing songs I love the musicianship and songwriting going on here the lyrics are amazing the vocals are amazing this is just an overall classic piece of modern of a US death metal here and it definitely deserves the love and praise that it's gotten over the years but yeah as you can see the album cover art here this is the original album cover because if you remember Martyr Doom Productions put out the CD and vinyl version I have the vinyl version but I missed out on the CD version but this one has the original album cover art with the logo on top, the album name on the bottom. Very recognizable album cover art here. Uh, very, very cool track listing and credits for both the CDs here. There you have this, um, yeah, folds out to have two CDs. There you have the two CDs here. That's the CD with the demo and the and, uh, and, uh, promo stuff. There you have the full length in question. And now we get to the booklet here. There's only one reason I wanted to make this video, and I just wanted to show... Yeah. Iconic photo right here of the vocalist of this band. Absolutely legendary shit. Yeah, there you have more credits and lyrics. Absolutely badass stuff. Very high quality on this thing. Yeah. If you're a death metal fan and you don't know who this is or know what this is, get up on that. That is legendary shit. <laughs> but yeah, Infester to the Depths and Degradation, absolutely badass album. Dark Art for Black Souls, absolutely great death metal album. Definitely check this one out. And the last CD I'm going to show you is another CD that I'm surprised that uh, Cruciator Productions was able to get put out. And I'm very, very pleased and happy to have this. Um, my very, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful my very good friend Justin Stubbs will be watching this because I know he's been on a tear with his YouTube channel recently. But now his, de his band's debut album is now available once again. Yeah, this is Father Befouled with Obscurus Next Cultus. Yeah. Oh my god. I am so fucking happy to own this this album and 
finally. I love Father Be Felt so much, and I had been hunting for a copy of this band's debut full length for years. It seemingly was out of print until Cruciator Productions made this CD available again, and I'm very, very pleased and happy to own it. Just to refresh your memory here, Father Be Felt are based out of Georgia. They are a death metal band, very much iconic and reminiscent of bands like Incantation and all that. Very distinctive sound, but Father Be Fouled make their own sound something very special here. And I really, really love this band's body of work. Everything that this band put out has been nothing short of amazing to me over the years. But this was the missing link. This is the album that I wanted to see and get an own more than anything. And I'm very, very happy to have Obscurus Next Cultus on this album because some of my favorite tracks from this band are on here, like Golden Rivers of Heaven, Baptized in Piss. I fucking love that song. Consecrate the Iconoclast, um, For Eternity, The Path of Pestilence, just some absolutely killer songs on here. I love the musicianship, I love the vocals, I love the riffs, absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, such sick shit that came out in 2008, fucking awesome. But yeah, as you can see, this is a different album cover art. I believe uh, Alex from Sick Rights and um, Vorfax did the art, album cover art for this. And more additional artwork, which is really, really badass. Very high quality shit here. Yeah, I love the CD art here too. Very, very good quality here. And of course you have the booklet. More wild and crazy artwork, photography and lyrics. Really bang up job done here with this reissue. But yeah, I can if you're into Father Be Found and you want to know where things all got started and how everything began, here you have Father Be Fouled with Obscurus Next Cultist. Definitely check this one out. And with that said, I'm going to conclude this video. I'm going to leave you some links for some of the bands I talked to you about here in this video. And I've definitely go support Crusader Productions. Go support Lloyd's label. He's one of the coolest dudes on the planet. And I'm very, very fortunate to consider him a friend. And not to mention, do work for his label and talk about some of the great things that he's putting out and stuff that I hope he will be continuing to put out for many more years to come. Definitely go support Cruciator Productions. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Army Hell out.